Hello there, I'm Terror, and this, my friends, is the Stanley Parable, a mod of Half-Life 2, which you can get for free, as long as you have the necessary game to play it. Really fun. So, I say if you can do it, go get it now and play it through yourself. You don't need to watch this. Else, keep watching. This is really fun. This game really, as short as it is, it really proves the point that in a game, story is still important. You could just walk around in the halls of some empty building and the story will make it all. So go forth, enjoy, and my little hint to you is that if you think it's over, try looking again. Also, listen to the sexy man's voice and reflect. Aren't you, Mr. Stanley, playing your games? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others, so the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 